Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on G Can't Play. On this channel we go through some various crap strategies, see if it's something you want to play, see the good and the bad. Uh, today we're going to play a little dark side strategy, nothing too complicated. Uh, we're going to lay the 4 and 10 and we're going to do that in a ladder. So the way it works is uh, $50. the four, fifty dollars on the ten, we roll away. Uh, if the four or the ten hits, so if the uh, the point hits there, uh, we go up one unit. So that'll become a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty, two hundred, two fifty, so forth. Uh, then once we win, we ladder back down. Uh, one of the important things to keep in mind in this strategy is obviously the bets can get up high quite quickly if you get a run of fours and tens. Uh, so you always want to just be aware of your bankroll, uh, where you're at, and um, whether you want to come down earlier or not. But uh, we may see some examples of that while we're playing. So let's get into it and let's see how this one goes. Uh, we're going to establish a point first. You can play with the puck on or off. It's up to you. Uh, as you see, if we had uh, played, we would have won some money right at the bat there. So there are definitely benefits to, there you go, two in a row. It's trying to um, make me look like I made the wrong decision by rolling sevens here. We're losing out on some good money, but that's okay. We're just trying to test out the strategy. I'm not playing with actual money, so there we go, point established. So let's get started here. And let's get going. Uh, so not too much to do in this strategy. It's basically just rolling, hoping for a lot of sevens to come. Uh, if we get nothing but point sevens, that would be lovely. There's a 12. Um, but if a 4 or 10 does come, we do have that ladder to uh, go with. Another... Um, Variation you could play is uh, a strategy I did earlier where you lay some and you play some. So you could lay the 4 and 10 and maybe play the 6 and 8. So you're playing both sides of the coin. It's up to you how you want to play, but we're just testing this out at the moment. Very simple strategy. And just seeing how it goes. And the reason we're doing the 4 and the 10, uh, and there's the 7, there we go. So... There we go, forty-eight dollars. Uh, yeah, the reason we're doing the four and the ten is because there's less combinations of a four and a ten than there are of a five, six, eight, or nine. Uh, you can lay any number you want there, any of these, um, but there's less chance to hit a four or a ten than there is a six and an eight, and there's a lot more chance to hit the seven. That's what we want. So. We're betting on numbers that don't come up as often to not hit. And we're hoping that a number that does come up often does hit. So there we go, the 10 did come. So we need to go up to 100. So we're going up one unit. So the first unit's 50, next unit's 100. If that was to lose again, uh, we go to 150. Uh, and as you can see here, this is what's called the VIG. Uh, so the house takes a cut. Uh, when you're playing up, when you're laying at these numbers. And there's another 10. Okay, so we're going up to 150. 150. Let's see if we can get a 7 here. That's the point. Uh, we're going to leave the bets on this time. So it's only when the, the first come out that we're going to um, not play. And that might vary as I play along. Depending on how I'm feeling, I might play with the puck off. I might play with it on. It's really up to you. There is no statistical benefit either way. It's just your preference. Okay, there's a nine. Decent roll here, we want to see a 7, so we can get paid. 
another nine, repeat a nine. Is the eight, that's the point again. Good thing we're not playing the uh, don't pass along with this, otherwise we would have lost a couple of times there. New point out on the six. Uh, we're gonna go through about 10 shooters. Generally you run about that far. There goes the four. It's not liking us today. We're doing some long rolls it seems and we're hitting the numbers we don't wanna hit, but that's okay. Shows how this strategy works. There's an 11. There's the point again. It's a good day to play the pass line. We've hit the point a few times. Out on the 8. Let's see that 7. 20 rolls in now. And there we go. There's the 7. 150 plays 75. 100 plays 50. Uh, so as you can see, uh, even though we lost three times here and once over here, oh no, sorry, two times here and once over here, uh, we had $250 out there. We're only down um, $36 overall. Uh, we did have the small win down further. Uh, so not too bad there. Uh, so what's going to happen this time? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to play. So we won, so we go down one unit, so that goes to 100, and this one goes back down to 50. So when you lose, you go up a unit, when you win, you come down a unit. Okay, out on the six. And the hope is here that we get some sevens and we recover that money that we lost on the way up. We'll see if this works. If, if um, we don't recover, which we may not, uh, another way you can do it is you may want to win once at that higher level. So let's say you got up to 150, you win, you got 150 again, and then start laddering down. So that's another way that you can do it. Uh, obviously a riskier move, but it will increase your profit. There's seven, lovely, so we get 75 there. And as you can see, we're now up again. So this one goes back to 50, this one goes to 50. And let's see if we get a repeat of seven. Nope, we've got the four, so it's going up to 100. Where are we, shooting number four now. Two, one, three. And so yeah, a fairly passive strategy, um, especially if not a lot of sevens are coming, like uh, in this case. Uh, it's really just a, a sit and wait. And every now and then a, a four and 10 might come along and you'll have to put down another bet. Or a seven. That's the way the world works though sometimes when you're trying to play a light side strategy you get 0.7s all the time move to the dark side and all of a sudden you're getting long rolls i think the average roll is around six to eight so we're right around that average at the moment and obviously you have some that might only be two rolls long others go for 20. there's another four so we're up to 150 there Point is off, but we're going to keep playing up to 150. And so yeah, you get a couple runs where you, uh, oh, there we go, we just hit, that's good. $96. So this one is still 50. And this one goes back down to 100. So we lost 102 there, 196, so we're still down, but there's another seven. That helps us out, back both to 50. So yeah, as you can see, if you're only going up two or three ladders here, um, it is quite safe. Another seven, love, three in a row, that's a good run for us. As you can see now, we're almost paid for, for a roll. 
still on the fourth shooter. Out on the five. Um, yeah, so if you're going up and down around two or three ladders, then yeah, it's pretty safe. You're not feeling too nervous about that. Um, but if you get a bad run and you're up sort of four, five, six ladders, uh, you need a pretty hefty bankroll. You know, if you're putting four, five, six hundred dollars out there at a time, um, you probably want two, three, five thousand dollars as a bankroll. So not something I would play myself. I'm a I'm a low roller. Don't have that sort of money to to spend, but some of you out there do. Okay, the six. Some five shooters at the moment, so we're about halfway. Not doing too bad. We are currently, if we took everything down, we're up $150. Not a bad day. Uh, if we leave it up and we uh, lose here, we're still up $45. Another six. Three sixes in a row. There's the seven. Another payday for us. And let's go again. Obviously, as you can see, the dark side, um, the downside to that is you get paid half here, whereas on the light side, you're getting paid uh, more than you're betting. So, for instance, um, on the six, $60 pays 70, whereas here, the $60 pays. 30. Um, sorry, this one hit and I didn't go up, but nothing happened, so that's okay. So up to 100 on the four. Snake eyes. Six rollers in. Six. Another seven. Lovely. Uh, so this has been pretty good for us. We haven't had any really bad runs. Uh, and that's one of the good things about the 4 and 10. Obviously, there are situations where you can get a big run of 4s and 10s. Um, but as I was saying earlier, there's less combinations. There's only two combinations of a 4 and a 10 that you can roll. Um, so they're less likely to come. Whereas the 7... A lot more combinations. As you can see, there we go. We just got three in a row. Uh, and when you get things like this, you know, um, this was obviously we had 100 up there. It was 72, 48, 48. It adds up fairly quickly. So as you can see now, we're up over $300 in our bankroll. If we were to um, pull everything down now, which we aren't, and we just lost one, so we get up to 100. Uh, but in the rack, we've got over a hundred dollars still in the rack even if these were to both come down both lose so so far a successful day and you've obviously got to um as i was saying at the very start think about your bankroll you know if this was up to 250 300 at this point and you can see that you're up a hundred dollars uh you may want to pull it down and just reset you know because taking another 300 dollars out of your rack you're down 200 bucks instead of being up 100. So you've got to be aware of your bankroll. Um, make sure, obviously, you're only playing with what you can afford to lose. Uh, but also know when to reset and when to go again. You don't have to rigidly stick to the strategy. You know, if, if these numbers are getting too high and you've already got a little bit of profit there, don't be afraid to reset and not lock in the profit if you're still playing, but um, minimize the losses a bit. There's another 10, so we're up to 150 on the 10. Here we go. And there's the four. So we're up to 100 on the four. And see, so here's a situation where you sort of get to that point where you were up a couple hundred and now 
These guys are getting up there. We get a couple more. Starts looking dodgy, but there's a 7, so that's good. Which means this one goes back down to 100. This one back to 50. So we haven't gone past three ladders yet, which is nice for the strategy. Another 7. Excellent. We're back to reset. Oops, too much. There we go, shoot at number 8, and as you can see now we're up $300 if we were to pull these down. We've got over $200 in our rack now, another 7, another 3 is in a row. That's the third time I think we had 3 7s in a row, which uh, really helps this strategy. There's another one, 4 in a row. It is wanting, at, at first, at the start I thought it was going to go bad, we had three losses in a row there but um yeah it's turned around for us we're eight shooters in up over three hundred dollars five three eight Four one five. Four two six. Yo eleven five six eleven. Hard eight. It's two fours. See if we can get another 7 here. 516. 628. Another decent roll going on here. Luckily, only one 10 has come in no fours so far. Snake Eyes. Four, one, five. Time for the seven. We're fifteen rolls in. No, hard four. So it's going up to a hundred. Five, six. That's eleven. Six, three, nine. Okay, another decent roll here. Hasn't hurt us too bad. We've had two losses. Another 11 there. Uh, we wouldn't mind a 7 now. Another 11. There's a 12. Four one five. We're in the twenties now for this roll. Let's see that seven. Five four nine. Doesn't want to give it to us. Four one five. It's going to punish us here right near the end. Let's see the seven. No, another eleven. It's lacking these elevens at the moment. Five one six. Another good roll if you play on the light side here. Uh, with most light side strategies, which is placing, buying, you know, making money off numbers hitting. Uh, pretty much any strategy is going to make money when you get up to the sort of close to thirty rolls. And on the dark side, obviously, you want to see much smaller. Numbers there, two and three. There's another four. Yep, it's going to hit up. Doesn't want that seven to come, so we're up to 150. Oh, there we go. First time we've hit 200. There you 
go. And as I was saying about macros, you can see here, now, in the rack, I've only got $1,232. If I took these down, I'd still be up $40. So you've really got to think about whether, you know, uh, depending on how long you still got to go, how you're feeling, what you want to play, whether or not you just reset back to 50. Um, but this isn't real money, so we're going to keep going. This is a strategy. We're going to test it out. We've got a couple rollers to go. It's a 415. We're going to see if we get that 7. We're 30 rolls in now. It's just about due, I would think. Five one six. Four two six. Six is now overtaken. Seven is the most common number in this session. Another eleven. That's been popular today. As you can see here, see the 10, only five, the four, a few more. There's the seven, finally. Um, but as you can see by the distribution here, see the five, oh, sorry, the 10 and the four roll a lot less. Eight and five, which is 13, total of 18 sevens. So we've won more than we've lost in that situation. Um, where are we? Nine shooters. We're up to shooter number nine. So this one goes back down to 150 because we're at 200. This one was at 100, so this goes back down to 50. And let's see if we can get a couple more sevens now after that. What was that? 36 rolls. Let's see if we can get a couple quick ones here. All right, there's the four. It goes back up to 200. So this is probably a good example of um, knowing when to stop. We were up 300 at one point. Okay, this one goes back down to 150. This one is at 50. We're on our last shooter now. Uh, if we were to stop here, though, we were still up $150. Uh, but we want to get this one last seven nice and quick, hopefully. Nope, it's going to take out the 10 before we get the chance. It's going to hit us right at the end. There's a 9, the point is off. Uh, we're going to keep playing. Another 9, back on the point. Now let's see a 7. 8, not quite. Point hit again. And back on the nine. Popular number. Just making a run up the uh, numbers hit there. There's a six. Okay, let's see that seven now. Let's see the seven. There we go. There's a seven. Okay, so through 10 shooters, up about $220, not too bad um, for an initial starting bet of 100 bucks. Uh, so that is the lay of the 4 and 10. Uh, nice, simple strategy just to go through again. Um, and you can choose the dominations, whatever the table allows you to, to play. But we were starting with $50 units, $50 on the 4 and 10. Uh, if the 4 of the 10 hits, then you go up one unit, which is $50, so this will go up to 100 If that was to hit again, you go up another unit, so you go to 150 again, 200 uh, If you were there to win, so a 7 was to come, then you go down one, so 200 will go down a unit to 150 then it will go down to 100 and then back down to 50 A uh, nice little strategy, fairly passive. Uh, works best, I'd say, on the 4 and 10 rather than these inside numbers because there's less combinations of the 4 and the 10, so they're less likely to hit. Uh, so that was the lay of the 4 and 10 ladder. I uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Catch you later.